Hello everyone, this is Kaylee from Nerdy Birdy Adventures and I am back again with my favourites for the month of March. Um, I'm really sorry, March was such a hectic month that I completely forgot to post my favourites for February. So I won't be including my February favourites in this video though just to, just to put that out there because otherwise this video would probably be about six hours long because I have quite a few things to share with you but anyway. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you have checked out my channel before, welcome back. Um, I'm so happy to see you again. Um, so yeah, we will just jump right into things. I will start with my bag, my favourite bag of the month. I usually have a favourite bag of the month. This month is no different, so we'll start with this guy here. This is a, um, it's an Instax camera bag from, that I picked up from Amazon. The print is like cute little cats um, and I picked this up because I have an amigurumi that I like to carry around with me um, as kind of a comfort thing I guess um, and I've been looking for a little shoulder bag to put him in so he's not always in a backpack and I can get to him more easily if I need to this bag is perfect because his like head sticks out of it just nicely and it still holds like my wallet and my phone and all of that good stuff and then I have like larger things in my backpack like my coat, my journal, like umbrella, that kind of stuff. So it's just I got a bag for carrying him around. Um, I did have to get a new strap for this bag because the one that it came with is not long enough um, so I got a cute little rainbow strap for it that's just tucked inside and then of course I had to make it nerdy by putting on a button of Dick Grayson, a button of Jason Todd and then this is Jason catching. Damien and then this actually has another favorite on it which is this keychain of if it will focus there we go Terry McGinnis uh, Batman from Batman Beyond so yeah I picked this up from an artist at Zenkaicon unfortunately I did not catch the artist's name and I feel super guilty about that any shops that I mentioned will be linked below as always um, except for Amazon, though, if you would like the specific link to this bag, let me know. So, yeah, that is my first thing. Um, I suppose we'll start with the bigger things and then kind of move towards the smaller things. Um, I suppose the next favorite group I will mention, I guess, is plushes. Though one of them's a plush and one of them's a pillow, but I will do the plush first. Uh, the first is, the plush is this cutie here. Um, this is a grizzly bear plush that my wife actually bought for me from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium uh, while we were there in March. We went there as a on a little weekend trip. We had a little weekend getaway to Columbus and we went to the zoo and my wife bought me this plushy bear. He was sitting on the shelf and I just as soon as I walked into the shop I knew he was the one I wanted. But he's very soft. He's very cute. And I named him Oliver after uh, after Green Arrow, actually, because Green Arrow was my wife's favorite. So I named him after Oliver Queen because of that. If you hear any crying, my cat's throwing a fit. So just ignore that. But yes, so the plush pillow is this guy here. And this is a plush pillow of Red Hood. Yeah. He's about 16 inches across. He's a decent size. He lives on my bed. He's like my, like a reading pillow, essentially. I hold on to him while I read. Um, and I got him from a shop called Hexalinus or Selenus. Again, link below. Um, I got actually a couple of fun Red Hood things from this shop that will be featured in this video. So yeah, fluffy, nice. It's not overly soft. It's like that kind of fuzzy, velvety, like short pile minky kind of feel. It's very, very nice. And he did come pre-stuffed, but you can, if you prefer to put your own like pillow stuffing or like pre-stuffed pillow in here, you can also get him unstuffed. So yeah, um, I suppose next um, I have a couple of deco boxes from an artist who's a good friend of mine who I absolutely adore who goes by Purple Panda Productions um, Pandas and Cream on Instagram and I 
absolutely absolutely adore their work i've commissioned like several <laughs> several deco boxes from them and i got two new ones this month so i'm gonna those obviously are gonna be in my favorites the first being this one come on i have no idea if that's focusing or not but this is a hexagonal like deco box of red hood of jason todd obviously he's my current hyper fixation so yeah um i it's a pretty like it's a pretty good size box as you can tell um i got this to put my ever growing like pin collection of red hood in like of red hood slash jason in here so i got this for that and i'm super happy with how it turned out the other deco box let's see if you can guess the theme on this one is um <laughs> is is good old nightwing is good old dick grayson so yeah his theme is obviously black and blue i love uh i love the charms on this because we have a little a little puppy up here for hallie and then we have a little elephant down here for Zika, and then some candy and stuff for his sweet tooth. But yeah, and then same thing, this has all of my pins of like Dick and the other Bat Boys, because I have a lot more of Jason than I do of the other Bat Boys, but I do have stuff of the other Bat Boys, so they all go into this box. And I'm just so happy with how these boxes turned out, like, Danielle did an amazing job with them, they're super good yeah okay so next i think i will talk about a couple more of the products that i got from hexalanus because sell salinas hexalanus i am very sorry if i'm pronouncing that name wrong if i'm pronouncing that shop name wrong um but yeah i'm gonna talk about a couple more products i got from them i think uh the first of which being a mouse pad <laughs> It's a cute red hood mouse pad <laughs> that matches my pillow. So I do kind of want to get another pillow for my gaming desk, like my gaming chair, so that it's, it's so I can mat. They can match. My room can be a little bit more copacetic, and they can match. But yeah, so this is just a little round mouse pad, which my mouse sits on my gaming desk, and obviously is where my mouse rests. It's really cool and I'm just happy to have more like red hood decorating my room. The second thing which actually lives above my work desk in the, in my bedroom is um this bloody clock is this which is a uh a clock. Cute little acrylic standy clock of that features the four male robins. Um motorcycling through Gotham probably racing to get Alfred's cookies which is why Damien's in the front so of course I have Damien I have Jason and Dick kind of in the front because they're my favorites but you can see Damien and uh, Tim too and then there's the cute little clock which keeps falling out every time I touch it so I'm just gonna book it. just did it again <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down now so I don't break my clock but yeah all right, I suppose the next thing. So I was at Zenkai Con a couple of weekends ago, which is an anime convention in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is used to be like my home convention, but that my home convention is now Teco. Uh, but yeah, so we still go to that every year. It's such a, it's a very chill convention for us. We have a lot of fun. And I was really uh, surprised to find journals there this year. Like usually there are like anime obviously there are anime journals but i was really surprised to find a traveler's journal there this year so i saw it and i had to pick it up um i actually got two journals from the same artist the artist is called violet vesper visions again linked below um and this is the, so this is the traveler's journal it is covered in tentacles which i think is the coolest thing just covered in rainbow tentacles and it has the two the two notebooks and like the like things for your for your business cards and like places for folk. typical like traveler journal stuff 
So yeah, I, I saw this and I was super excited. And then the other journal that I picked up from this artist, and the artist was ever so sweet, like ever such, ever such a sweetheart, is actually this one. And this is a black paper dot journal in the, th this is based on the book of, I am going to butcher this, Vanitas. <laughs> People are going to correct me and be like, it's Vanitas or whatever, but I'm going to say it Vanitas, that's how I pronounce it. But yeah, so also that <laughs> but yeah this is uh black paper so i'm really looking forward to using this one because i can use my white and pastel colored gel pens in it so yes yeah, really exciting i i'm always happy to add things to the journal hoard i guess all right so next i guess and this is probably Next, I suppose I'm going to go into like some of the random little bits and pieces that I picked up during the month that are in my favorites. Uh, the first of which is actually a little Lego minifigure, which I'm super happy I found. And it's this guy here. This is obviously Jason, little red, little, little red hood Lego minifigure. He has his little blasters. I wish he had his hair from the the movie the lego movie that he's in i wish he had that hair but i'm i'm happy to have like a a version of him that doesn't have the helmet and then he also came with a little a little motorcycle he also comes with a little motorcycle which was really fun to build because it came deconstructed and i got this from a shop on etsy all right so i so at Zenkaicon, there was a booth in the dealer's room that had a bunch of Gashapon machines. So me and my wife got some tokens for the Gashapon machines and we played three Gashapon machines each. I'm going to say Gashapon a lot, so I am very sorry for that. <laughs> so these are the prizes that I got from the Gashapons. I think they're super cool. So first things first is I got this adorable little little bunny figurine this is a little orange little orange bunny he's got little flowers on his head and he's just just a little bunny figurine just very cute very very simple little bunny figurine <laughs> um and then i also got this guy who is a it's it's a pigeon but it's a pigeon like you know the the toy cars you probably used to play with when you were a kid that you would pull back and then they roll forwards it's one of those but it's a pigeon and his little head bobs as he moves so it's the cutest thing and i really love pigeons they're some of my favorite birds so i'm very happy that i got the the rock pigeon <laughs> i got the rock pi rock pigeon version now they're all pigeons all of the pigeon all of the birds you could get were pigeons but i'm glad that i got a regular city pigeon instead of a different kind of pigeon like a dove or something and then the last thing that i got from uh the gash pond machines at zenkai con is a little coin pouch and it is this guy here um, this is a, it's a taiyaki, like the fish, like, I don't actually know what a taiyaki is, <laughs> but it's like, it's a fish shaped, I think it's, I think it's a pastry or something, or an ice cream or something along those lines, but it's, it's a treat, it's a sweet treat in Japan, that's what I know. And this one is like a, a very fun mint color, <laughs> and it's a little coin pouch, and it's just, me and my wife both got one of these, and... Um, hers is like a, a chocolate brown color and I got the mint one and I'm just, they're they're great actually they hold quite a lot in them so they're they're fun little pouches all right before I move on to pins because I have quite a number of pins to share this this month um, I have a keychain that's also in my favorites and this is this is also from the shop Hexalanus um, and it's a little Jason, a little double-sided Jason Todd keychain where he is unmasked and masked as Red Hood. I mean, it's Jason Todd, so yeah, of course it's going to be my favorite for the month. But he's very cute. Um, I'm very happy with him. He's a cute little keychain. Cute little addition to the collection. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to go into my favorite pins of the month. I actually got quite a few pins in March, so I have a, a number to share from you, uh, or share with you, should I say. 
but yeah we'll start with the pins i got from again hexalenus and then this is the last of the things i got from that shop and i got now i'm going to show you i already put them in my ea bag so i'm going to show them to you just inside the ea bag and i got this one here which is red hood and i got this this one here which is nightwing i got these two from hexalanus try and turn this so you can see without the glare there we go so yeah i got these two and they're really really cute so yeah they're like little round little round pins and they're very they're very adorable so as you can see they're already inside my ea bag okay so the next four pins that i'm going to show you are all from the same place they're all from a shop called parzival pins on instagram i'm going to link the instagram because they don't have a shop they pretty much sell through instagram um so we'll just jump into those okay the first is this one here this is uh nightwing dick grayson in his red in the red suit version there we go there we go you can see him more clearly now but yeah this is this is dick in his red suit version just his bust with his little eskrima sticks on the bottom here now these pins are really like a like a decent size they're like three two or three inches two or three inches and i have almost the entire collection from this artist there's i think two that i'm missing now but okay the rest are all pins of jason todd slash red hood so i thought i'd get nightwing out of the way first okay first is first one of jason is this one there we go and it's just bust of jason this one has um completely black hair and it's his outlaws his original outlaws outfit um i just i love the bat on his chest and then the two things down here are just his weapons and there's another so there's another version of this pin where he has the little white stripe too uh okay so the next pin of jason that i have is this one which is a po like obviously posed to show his butt this is him wearing the red hood helmet this pin is like five inches tall and i really really like it <laughs> again it's him in his outlaws outfit with his short sleeves and his helmet and all that good stuff and there we go a little bit i guess there we go but yeah i love the colors that this this artist uses on their pins they're just and i love the posing because of course i do all right and then the last pin i have to show you is this one again same pin so it's the same pin just this one is him there we go this one is him unmasked and again same pose just not wearing the mask this one i think is my favorite of all the jason pins i own i think this one's my favorite um again there's another version of this pin where he has the white streak and that's the one that i'm missing like that's the one that i'm missing i already have the bust one of him with the white streak but i'm missing that pin with his white streak but anyway so yes that is everything for my favorites for the month of march um i don't know what my next video will be it might be a vlog it might be a journal with me video i'm not quite sure yet um but if there's anything you'd like to see from me like please let me know i'm always open to suggestions um i hope you all have a wonderful day morning evening whatever's happening with you um, all of my social medias are linked below, including my blog and my resin shop. So if you want to check those things out, please feel free. Um, again, feel free to comment. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. Bye.